Hey everyone, James Rath here. So previously in another video a few months ago, I talked about image descriptions and I wanna talk about those again because they're a lot more accessible to create. What are image descriptions? Well, here, put it this way. Imagine if you were on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and we're always sharing photos on these social networks and imagine not having sight and having a voice reader because a lot of blind people use navigate the internet with a voice reader uh, whether it's voiceover or narrator or something on android i don't remember what it's called but anyway imagine being on these sites and it just says image well it would be nice to have some visual context to what this image is wouldn't it so unfortunately a mass majority of these images on social networks are inaccessible to people who have visual impairments or legally blind or blind for the past several months i've been trying to make my images online more accessible so on instagram when i upload an image i will put an image description in the below the caption and it just describes the general parts of an image you don't have to go full out like describe the color of every little thing or describe the small little details you just have to describe what small like give context to what the caption is and to give context to what you're just mainly trying to share and it really is not that hard in fact I don't even type my image descriptions what I do is use dictation on my phone so I can just say what it is and it's that simple you know it's it's writing it out for me so it really takes no time to create these image descriptions and then when I share my Instagram photos to Facebook and Tumblr it puts the image description in the caption, which is pretty nice. Facebook also has automatic artificial intelligent alt text, which is okay. It's been getting better, but it's not perfect. It contained eight people, outdoor, water, nature. And it really doesn't describe all the details. It just says how many people are in this image or as many as it can find. It will say maybe a dog is in this image or it will say trees, forest, uh, water, or it will say person smiling or whatever. And it's nice to have that kind of context, but it'd be nice if the person who uploads the image could just give you know, what they're trying to share. Just say what what is it that you're, you want me to see in this image. So when I made my last video, Twitter rolled out a feature where you could add image description to the photos that you upload through the Twitter app. Now it's available on desktop, which is fantastic because when I upload an image to the desktop version on the website, it says add image. And it describes that like, this is for people with visual impairments if you want them to be able to have equal access to your images. So you just write a little description and just say like, if there's text in the image, put the text in the description that way you know our readers our like voiceover cannot read text that's embedded in an image you know it can only read text that's kind of coded for alternate text and in, in the image descriptions <sighs> i'm trying to make sense but i'm probably not making any sense anyway if i upload an image like a meme for example if i upload a meme that has a caption embedded in the image itself then my voice reader is not gonna read that because it can't tell that that is actual text to read so write your meme jokes in the image description so everyone can laugh or facepalm at how outdated that meme is. I don't know. Anyway, if you want some tips on how to write image descriptions a little bit better, I mean, it takes practice, but I'll have my links down below so you can look at my image descriptions on my Instagram. And so feel free to check that out. And then also just some tips and tricks, uh, links I'll put in the description for some resources to best write image descriptions and stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and please make your images more accessible to people who don't have the vision like you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please consider adding image descriptions, whether it's in the captions or in the description of images if you know how to write alt text in things like your emails and on your website fantastic check out resources down below thank you guys so much for watching this video and please consider it bye here's the result hi hey so i'm here with my friend abby and we are about to watch a youtube video that um isn't closed caption manually. Uh, it happens to be Casey Neistat, I'm sure you've heard of him. He's one of the fastest growing YouTubers as of recent and he has a lot of videos, a lot, because he makes daily movies. He doesn't closed caption his videos, he doesn't pay someone to closed caption even though they're like, a, it costs as much as like a, a, a decent cup of coffee every day. Can you hear me at all? Uh, yeah, pretty, okay. it's pretty well. 